Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. In today's video, I'll run through how to change your Phonak Serashield wax filters in four easy steps without the need for an engineering degree. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that gray notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. If one day you find that your hearing aids have been working perfectly, however, all of a sudden they've just stopped and you find that your hearing's dropped, then the two most common things that could cause that are number one, the battery being dead, so make sure it's either fully charged or with a new battery inside, or they could just be blocked with wax. These filters need changing roughly once every four to six weeks, and let's be honest, they are without question not the easiest things to use. And if you're finding it difficult to change them, then you're not alone. I see patients in my practice every day that don't find it easy, so let's get to it. Looking at the Serashield casing, you'll notice that there are two separate windows here. Number one at the top has a trash can next to it. This is where you'll place your used dirty receiver. And number two at the bottom is to pick up your new clean replacement wax filter. These filters stay separate, so you shouldn't be able to mix up the clean and dirty ones. There are eight replacement wax filters in total, and to access a new replacement filter, turn the disc until you see a replacement filter in opening number two. To turn it, use both hands, and then place your left thumb over the grips on the left, and then your right thumb over the grips on the right. And then on the rear side, place as many fingers as you can fit on the back of the filter case. Next, using your thumbs, turn the front of the Serashield case in a clockwise direction following the arrows on the front of the casing. Make sure that you don't squeeze the case too tightly as any additional pressure can make it more difficult to turn. As it turns, you should hear a clicking sound and you'll notice a replacement Serashield appear in window number two. Next, take the rubber dome in one hand, which may look like any of these options, and the hearing aid speaker in the other, and then pull it gently. Be careful not to squeeze the rubber dome on tightly when you're doing this, as you can actually make it more difficult for yourself. Holding the end between your index finger and your thumb, insert the speaker into window number one to remove the first wax filter. You should feel a slight click when it's in position, and when removed, you'll see your old filter deposited in the bottom. Once it's done, repeat exactly the same action in window number two to pick up the replacement wax filter. And again, you'll notice it goes from having a filter in the case to being completely empty. Once this is done, pick up your rubber dome and reattach it to the end of your hearing aid. And voila, you're good to go. And you should notice that your hearing now functions normally again. I hope that you found this video useful, guys. If you found it helpful, then why not click that like button? If you have any questions or comments, then drop them beneath this video and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you're after more helpful content like this, then make sure that you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.